Hey guys, it's me again. I'm about to head over to the garage and work on the van some more. The last video, I was working on my kitchen cabinet, which is going to go right behind me here. And I only got as, so far as to finish the frame that goes around the sink and the stove and the fridge that go in there. Today, the plan is to work on the countertop so I can cover the top of that thing and hopefully knock out the paneling that goes around the outside of the cabinet as well. I also want to do a utility drawer and a door for the cabinet, so I have a lot of work to do on it. So I'm going to head over there now and get going on it. So while I'm driving, there's some good old fashioned time lapses. Let's roll the tape.
All right, well, kitchen is done. Well, mostly. I'd say about 95%. Let me show you what I did here. So, the whole thing is covered in laminate. Uh, this is Formica. This stuff is uh, pretty sturdy, real smooth. I like it. Turns out great. Uh, I've got my lid here that covers my uh, fridge. I can get to my food, no problem. Lid just goes right back down like that. Down here, I've got my sink. There it is. I have not done the actual plumbing yet on it because that'll be for another time, but the sink itself is mounted and sealed to the countertop, so it's good. By the way, the lid does hit the gasket on the door, but it's fine, it stays open. Speaking of lids, here's the lid to my stove. Now, you may have noticed earlier in the video that the lid was one piece. Well, now it's two pieces, and it folds down, and it doesn't want to stay open on its own, so we've got this little deal here, this little latch comes around, locks it in place, and holds it open. Now, you may be wondering why I did that, and let me show you down close the door so I'm an idiot every time I dry fitted this whole cabinet inside the van I did it with this side door open so I didn't think about the fact that if I had this big lid here and tried to open it it would hit the door of the van which is not good so that's why I ended up cutting it in half and making this little hinge here and latch system to hold it in place. I think that works pretty well. Now I can see out the window better and it's fine. But anyway, it's just complete foolishness on my part to not properly check that and measure it before I built it. Uh, I got my little flap here, it folds down. I can store my spatula here or whatever cooking utensil I have while I'm uh, on the stove cooking. There's the stove. By the way, it doesn't move around because we cut little holes underneath for the uh, feet to sit into. And so the stove will not move while the van is going down the road. A couple other things we added on here. Let me close this up here. I've got my uh, drawer here. This is a full extension drawer. Uh, right now it's got my tools in it, but eventually it'll have utensils and whatever kitchen things I might need. And this can open up while the flap is down, so there's not an issue with it uh, being obstructed, so I can get to it even while I'm cooking, which is nice. Then I have my cabinet door down here. This opens up just like that. It's uh, not much to look at, but at least I can get at under the sink if I need to while I'm inside the van. One of the things that caused this whole thing to be so time consuming was that I got a little obsessive with the design. I wanted it to be nice and minimalist and kind of modern looking. And so all of these drawers and things are all flush. They're all inset. There's no um, offset drawers like you would normally see on cabinetry. And so by doing that, that made the process of making them needlessly long and tiring and arduous. And I just wish that I had thought about that when I designed it because it took way longer than I wanted it to, but that's how these things go. The good thing is I had my dad helping me and he came in like a rock star and helped me knock this stuff out. So that's why it took me a while to finish this cabinet because I came here several times over the last few weeks and so that's why I changed clothes a lot in those time lapses and why the van moved to a different side of the driveway uh, just because, ah oh man, this building stuff is, uh, it's really more effort than I thought it would be. So, yeah. Hopefully the rest of the van, knock on wood, won't take quite as long as uh, this kitchen has. It's been a real monster. But uh, as I was saying, it's about 95% done. I've got to finish the plumbing. I've got to uh, do some electrical work because the sink needs a pump to pump the water up from the uh, 
freshwater tank that I'll eventually have uh, in the van here. So that'll be in a future video. Uh, next time, I'm not sure what I'll work on next. Maybe the walls, possibly the cabinet that goes over the fridge back there. I've got to do a bed too that's going to go behind me. So all of these projects are sort of piling up and the summer is coming and I'd like to start traveling soon. So I have a lot of work to do. So that'll be next time. Anyway, I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, if you like the video, give it a good old like. There's a button down there to hit like. Uh, you can always leave a comment. Uh, if you have any suggestions for the build, I'm open to suggestions. I'm sure people have some ideas that I haven't thought of. And I've definitely watched other videos to give out ideas. So, um, yeah, feel free to leave a comment. If you aren't subscribed and you want to keep up with the videos, just there's a subscribe button. You can click on that. There's also a bell icon that you can click that also will give you notifications whenever a video comes out. There are few and far in between. Sorry, I'm not on a consistent schedule, but that's how it goes. Um, yeah, if you know somebody who might be interested in van builds, feel free to share the video. Uh, until next time, goodbye everybody. Mm -hmm.